Welcome back to the Good Old Boys channel. We have the Hawk 250 behind me. We're doing wheel bearings and the rear wheel and the seals. So guys, these are the old wheel bearings. I've already taken them out of the bike. They have looseness and they're starting to lock up, so it's time to get them replaced. So we're not gonna mess around today. We're gonna jump right into the video with part number for you guys. So now you guys can see here, these are the bearings that came out of the bike. 6302-2RS. CXCL. These are the bearings from Napa. 302-C. We've got ZAO9, looks like. And then they're made by National. And again, made in China. So I'm not really sure if these are any better than the bearings that came on the bike. One thing I do have to say about these bearings is that they're very, very pricey. Napa wanted $75 for these two bearings. If I find bearings um, online for cheaper based on these part numbers, I'll also put that in the description box below. So my particular wheel here is already disassembled, but I figured I'd go into the disassembly just a little bit. Very simple, the seals come out very easy. They're rubber seals. You can just pry those out with a screwdriver. The bearings will be behind the seal you can pull the bearings out one of two ways. You can use a uh, bearing puller set like this with these guys. You can also use a punch and a hammer and some skill to get the bearings popped out as well. Now for the assembly, it's pretty simple. You just wanna make sure your bearing surfaces are very clean. You don't wanna grind it out. That'll ruin your surface obviously. So you just wanna take a rag like this and get it nice and clean. Next, we're gonna take some anti-seize. This is gonna help the uh, bearings come out the next time you have to change them. We're just gonna take the anti-seize and run it around the surface where the bearing's gonna go, as well as the surface where the new seal is gonna go. Very simple as that. Obviously, you wanna do it on both sides. Next step here is a little extra step that I like to do to help keep the bearings good for a long time. Just gonna take and Fill this tube with grease. It's messy. It costs a little extra with the grease, obviously. But in the end, it will pay off. We can take a brand new bearing here and go ahead and pop it in here. So your bearing's probably gonna be a somewhat tight fit. These are pressing bearings. That's how they should be. So what I have here is a one and one eighth inch socket. It's the perfect size uh, to tap the bearing in. And I have a hammer here. And we're just gonna tap the bearing in. You wanna go around it, hit it a couple more times. Just make sure your bearing is seated. Now we're gonna flip the tire around. Now you can't forget this center piece. This goes in there next. Mine has a little rubber thing on it just to help keep this centered. This spacer just goes between the bearings for when you tighten the axle. So what I'm gonna do here is put a little more grease around this thing just to keep our bearings good. I'm gonna go ahead and slide that in there. We can go ahead and take some more grease and shove it in this side. Gotta remember I have these $75 bearings that I bought of course. So we're trying to keep them good for as long as possible. Don't worry if you get any of this on your brake rotor, you're gonna be cleaning the rotor up afterwards, obviously. Before you put your second bearing in, you wanna make sure your spacer is in there, of course. I already checked, mine is in there. Now we can go ahead and tap this side in. All right, so you see how the bearing is kind of looking a little sideways. So you need to keep an eye on that and make sure you're tapping it in evenly. This side is farther out, so I need to tap this side in more. And you guys could probably kind of hear that. And that's the sound of the bearing bottoming out. So both bearings are put in. All right, one other thing to keep in mind here when you're replacing wheel bearings, you always replace the seals as well. So I'm not sure where we left off in the bearings and seals video, but here's the deal, guys. Both the seals that came out of the bike from the factory are incorrect. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple clips as we go along here, but basically the smaller seal that's on the chain and sprocket side, the inner diameter is a little bit too small. 
So the seal is too tight, in other words. I'll show you guys a quick clip of that. All right, guys, so our wheel is partially off the bike here. Now, I wanted to show you guys something. This is a smaller seal, by the way, on the chain side. And this is your little um, spacer bushing. So the deal here is, hopefully you guys can see this. This seal is already kind of torn up because it's just a tad too tight. Um, and this has a 28 millimeter inner diameter. So on the smaller seal, you really need to bump up to probably a 29 millimeter. So once again, that's a small seal. This is the measurement on it, 28.42.7. So you wanna probably get a 29.42.7 seal. Now the bigger seal you guys can see here, the uh, inner diameter is too big and it's too big by several millimeters. And I'll play the clip for you guys on that one as well. So guys, this is the deal with the big seal. The inner diameter is too loose. Like I said, if you take a close look in here, you can see just how much play there is. Um, now I wiped all the grease off of this so you guys could get a clear picture of what's going on here. But look at all that play. And again, this is the original seal that came out of the bike. If we take this thing off of here, all right, so you can see the original seal here doesn't have any wear, and it's just because of the fact that it's too loose. Take a look here. No good, no good. The seal should hug um, whatever it's sealing against here. So this is where our new seal comes in here. So this is the original seal out of the bike, and this is the new seal. You can see it's got a lot more meat to it, um, and that's because the inner diameter has a difference of two millimeters. So this is... 27 inner diameter this is a 25 inner diameter so this stuff will all be linked in the description box below i also got one that's a little wider uh, because a wider one will actually fit on this side so it's 25 47 8 now if we go to pop this on here it's um snug but not too tight that's exactly the fit you want so this seal is perfect. This is all the info on the correct seal here. I'm not sure which uh, number on here is a part number, but it'll all be uh, outlined in the description box below. And once again, it's a 25 by 47 by eight. I have a quick little clip for you guys on how and where to read the measurements on the seals. Keep in mind, these are the factory seals from the bike. So they have the incorrect measurements. Don't order these seals. They're the wrong seals. Again, the clip is just for the purpose of how and where to find the measurements on the seals. I'll give you guys a quick little measurement on them. 27, 47, seven, that's, the, that's measured in millimeters. You have the inner diameter, outer diameter, and width. Same thing on the small one here. 28 inner diameter, 42 outer diameter, seven millimeter width. Here's a quick little clip for you guys on how to uninstall the old seal and reinstall the new seal. It's a very simple procedure. It's also the same exact procedure for both sides. So I'm just gonna show you guys one side. So we're just gonna pop this um, new seal out. Like I said, I literally just put these in here. <laughs> it's honestly kind of annoying, but uh, it is what it is. Alrighty guys, so we got our new seal here. I'm gonna fill the back side of the seal. Hopefully keep it good for a little longer. All right, so this inside surface here that you can see is dry. They all come dry. You want to make sure you get some grease all over on the inside of that. Perfect. Now all we do is just pop it in like we did last time, which you guys didn't get to see, but these seals are very nice and easy to put in. You just put them in with your thumbs if you have strong thumbs. So this is the difference here between the good seal and the seal that doesn't fit right. Um, so this is a 25 inner diameter. You can see there's no back and forth play. Um, it's good and snug the way it should be. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to check that description out below. Um, as you guys already know, there's going to be lots of information on the bearings and seals linked down there. So once again, thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. Woo.
about humanity. 